Hi there, everyone. It is currently the 6th of October 2013, and well, we have two typhoons out here at this time. Typhoon Fito, north of Taiwan, and then Typhoon Danas approaching the southern Japanese islands today and moving at a fairly fast pace, just cruising along, right about 30 kilometers per hour. I know if you think you're driving in a car, that doesn't sound that fast, but uh, as far as tropical systems go, this one is just racing along there, really getting well defined today. Perf viral banding around this storm system not as large as we saw with Fito and that one just had a huge moisture source along the northern periphery good outflow aloft but this one uh, is really well wrapped up and is expected to become well the equivalent of a category 2 up to possibly a category 3 uh, uh, typhoon on the Saffron Simpson scale so definitely a very strong storm system here racing there towards the northwest where is this going to be going well let's just take a first glance look at some of the official agencies out here the Japan Meteorological Agency, the RSMC for the Western Pacific, currently has it about 70 up to 100 knots. Pressure right there at 970 HPA. They do expect that pressure to drop, though, over the next 24 to 48 hours, making it up to about 75, gusting to 105 knots as it does start to approach the southern Japanese islands there before starting to recurve there towards the north along the western periphery of our high-pressure ridge, which really has been bufferating this and keeping it down there towards the south. The same ridge that kept Fito on that westerly track while well, now it has slightly weak allowing Donas here to run along its southwestern periphery off there towards the northwest and then wrap around it pushing across South Korea very well likely into the long range. So something to watch there as well. But as far as the southern Japanese islands, let's talk about exactly where this is going to be going and exactly how it's going to be affecting. I know the good deal of the people watching this from southern Okinawa where, well, you have the concrete jungle vice the actual jungle, which is in the northern portions of Okinawa Hanto and also off there towards the Amami Island. Well, at least at this time, models are in fair agreement of this storm system, at least pushing over northern Okinawa Hanto or off there towards the Amami Islands. And I know JMA actually has it up here towards the north. JTWC also clips the northern portions of Okinawa Hanto. And if this plays through, I don't want people, I want people to get ready for a typhoon there in southern Okinawa, or at least just stay pre prepared after following Fito. But if that plays through and it goes along the northern periphery, to be honest, uh, the conditions in southern Okinawa are not going to be that harsh. Uh, tropical storm strength winds likely and possibly, but nothing too serious out here. Main reason is going to be on the left side of the storm vice the right front quadrant, so the Amami Islands is just going to get hit very hard by this. But uh, also, this storm's moving at a fairly fast pace, about 30 kilometers per hour. So let's say have sustained typhoon strength winds at about 120 kilometers per hour, about 65 knots along the western eye wall here. Now you have to subtract about 30 kilometers per hour from that 120, so now it's down to 90 uh, just inside the eye wall, so not even typhoon strength because of that forward motion of the storm being subtracted uh, from the overall circulation. So you're going forward at 100, or you're going forward at 30, you have 120 kilometers per hour winds here but that's actually going backwards at 30 so uh, that is something to keep in mind as well and that is why the right front quadrant of these storm systems are very dangerous because you add that wind forward motion on the wind but you also uh, have just the storm surges coming in with it all the waves all that water that's being pushed on shore so at least given the current track at this time the Amami Islands are going to take the brunt of this and also northern portions of Okinawa if it tracks over the island now all that could change and it doesn't look like it's going to be changing models are in fair agreement agencies as well if it does track down here towards the south and skirts the southern coast then you would be in the brunt of that storm system with one well, of those category two category three typhoon strength now that model was from ecmwf which has been fairly good at predicting the storms this year but uh, gfs uh, also takes it just along the northern periphery of the island and that's what i was talking about there uh, models are in fair agreement of moving just along the northern edge of okinawa hanto off there towards amami now, beyond the southern Japanese islands, what we're going to be seeing is a storm recurve off there towards the northwest. At the same time, we still have Fito weakening out here over eastern China, bringing some heavy rain there. But at the same time, Donna is pulling off here towards the northwest, moving through the Tsushima Strait. So western Kyushu around Fukuoka, also southern uh, South Korea around there, Busan. I know the international, uh, well, the uh, Grand Prix, the Korean Grand Prix just got done there at the uh, Korean International Circuit. 
and uh, at least by Tuesday and Wednesday, that's going to be well over with. A lot of people will be out of there. So good news for that. Then skirting the coast of Honshu and really just bringing some gusty winds out there and some heavy rainfall all along the, uh, the Sea of Japan coast of Honshu and then moving across northern portions of Honshu and southern Hokkaido by Wednesday. So a lot going on there. Now Tokyo, on the other hand, I don't think you're really going to get much from this. It's actually going to stay on the western side of the Japanese Alps, so that's going to stop a lot of that precipitation. The worst uh, conditions, southern Japanese islands, western portions of Kyushu, Fukuoka. I know we have people watching from Sasebo and also portions of South Korea uh, all along the coastline there are really just going to get brunted by this. And I know that the JTWC track does take it over the southern Japanese islands directly over Sasebo, which is uh, base forecasting from what I I see right here and they do this from time to time actually just take a look at this uh while you have basically it moving north of okinawa you can't run it right over there but in the long range we, we don't we're not sure if it's going to move through the tsushima strait or not so just run it right over sasebo and then run it right over misawa and this is why i often say just use jma instead but one thing to note by the time it gets off here to northern japan this is just going to be very disorganized the extent of the winds will be spread out across the wide area because it'll be going extra track Tropical won't be a well what you call a full-fledged tropical system becoming more cold core low so those winds are going to extend all across much of Honshu so just don't take care of that center line right after recurvature here and I do think it should stay off the coastline here but much of the coastal areas there into Kyushu and also southern South Korea you just want to watch this so that is all for right now everybody thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com if you have any questions comments or suggestions you can always post them down in the comment box below also so I'll put the annotation on the screen for our other tropical system, Typhoon Fito, which is now bearing down on the eastern coast of China. It's just going to be bringing some absolutely horrible conditions here on Sunday night going into Monday morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. And, yeah, that is all for right now. Also, please check the website. Oh, one other thing. Please check the website for our other updates out here because we're also going to continue to watch this area for possible Nari. And not to mention, it is snowing in portions of northeastern China and Siberia. So that's another fun fact going on off there towards the north.